A snow day calls for a snowy recipe, and of course, snow is my main ingredient for snow cream. So the first thing you need to get, and you might have just a smidge of a hard time trying to find it, just kidding, is a big heaping pile of fresh snow. Now, it says a gallon in the recipe. I don't really know what a gallon of snow looks like. I'm sure you <laughs> don't either. So I just had Adam go put a whole bunch of snow in a bowl for me. And Adam made sure it was the good stuff, right? Yeah, I, there was no yellow snow that was put in there. I made sure it was pure right off the top of the grass. Perfect. All right, next step is a whole cup of sugar. I didn't say this was healthy by any <laughs> means. So we're just going to sprinkle that on top of it. This is legitimately ice cream you're making. Uh, allegedly, right? I don't know. It's snow cream, whatever that means. So snow is ice. There you go. Yeah, sure. All right. And next is a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm probably going to add a little bit more in here just because I've got a, a lot of snow. Nice. Gives it the flavor, right? Our next step is a cup of milk. So it says to use milk or half and half. I went for the alternative option of evaporated milk. So we're going to pour that on top. And it'll melt it a little bit. That's what you want it to do. That way it will get a nice consistency for you. So next we're just going to mix it all up. Now I haven't tried this yet. Oh, that's <laughs> comforting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going off the fact I like, I like sugar. I like milk products. I'm sure it will be fine. So you can see it's getting smaller, which I have learned the hard way when I made Adam's that it starts to melt. The studio is a little warm. So... There we have it, snow cream. I also picked up some uh, sweetened condensed milk that is in a little squeeze bottle, which I thought is fantastic because it's always coming in cans and you don't know what to do with the rest of it. So I'm just going to put some over here and sprinkle it on top. All right, Adam, let's try this one together for once. Oh, okay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> It tastes oh, like man. evaporated milk, sugar, and <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> exactly sure how does. I expected to taste. Yeah, it's going to be a little kid favorite. I would probably kick back a little bit on the sugar just because you don't want them to get too energized because eventually they're going to get tired of playing outside in the snow, and then what are you going to do? You're maybe just going to have kids it, bouncing on the rails. Maybe what? try and make it outside. Ooh, that would be good. That way it doesn't melt. It melts so quickly. It'll still melt because of all the things you're adding to it, but maybe it won't melt as quickly. Right. What do you think of the flavor, though? It's good. It's very good flavor. <laughs> Great. So easy enough. Most of the time you have most of the stuff in your uh, closet, your pantry is what I'm trying to say, or your fridge. Again, you don't have to use evaporated milk. You can use half and half or regular milk. If you'd like to see this recipe or any other recipe from Cooking with Sierra, head to wayne.com. Click on the Lifestyle tab and you'll see Cooking with Sierra. This one will be on later today.